Welcome to the Cat Nelson Show. I'm the one and only Cat Nelson, MMA fighter out of Orlando, Florida. You can join me on my journey to becoming the baddest bantamweight fighter in the world by following me on social at catnoy11. This episode is brought to you by Black Lab Organics, all natural and organic dog treats. Our goal at Black Lab Organics is to create CBD-infused dog treats with real ingredients because we believe that dogs deserve better. Follow us on social at Black Lab Organics or visit our website, blacklaborganics.com. Use discount code CAT10 to get 10% off your next order. Crazy about fights? The Fight Bananas podcast is all fight news and everything fight related. Follow them on social at Fight Bananas Official. You can also tune in on YouTube, all podcast platforms, and iHeartRadio. I train about five to six days a week, and as a fighter, I understand the importance of recovery. Fusion CBD products always has my back. I use their CBD oil every morning in my coffee and their CBD balms after trainings and before bed. And just like that, I feel brand new, ready to take on the next day. Follow them on social at Fusion CBD Products or visit their site, FusionCBDProducts.com. New Dimensions Wellness Studio is a premium health, wellness, and performance center that combines cutting-edge technology with ancient wisdom. Every visit I make to New Dimensions, I leave feeling like a brand new woman. Whether you're an athlete that wants to excel in performance, undergoing rehab from an injury, or just want to take care of yourself, they will guide you to all your needs. Follow them on social at nd underscore wellness or visit their site, mynewdimension.com. Just Blaze Clothing is South Florida's number one source of clothing for the cannabis community. They sell all types of apparel, accessories, and rolling trays, perfect for any stoner dude or stoner babe. Check them out on social at Just Blaze Clothing or on their website, justblazeclothing.com. Use discount code CAT10 to get 10% off your next order. The law offices of Daniel Martinez has got your back. Daniel Martinez is a criminal defense attorney who fights in court and in the cage. Shut up and lawyer up with the law offices of Daniel Martinez. Follow them on social at martinez.law.321 or their website, martinez.law. Never stop, never quit. Support local fighters with Team Reaper. Team Reaper creates personal fight apparel just so fighters can make profit. I have my own fight apparel you can purchase on the website reaper1.co. You can also follow them on social at Team Reaper One. By purchasing my shirt, you will not only be supporting me, you will also be supporting this podcast, other fighters, and Root Camp Champs, a youth crime prevention organization in my hometown, Orlando, Florida. Root Camp Champs' mission is to get youth off of the streets and teach them martial arts. You can also donate to Root Camp Champs at kidsmma.org. And the, and the hemoglobin. Oh oh, 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 oh! oh, big shot spinning back fist oh, by right hand. And that that's is all. Oh, oh, wow. Wrote. That's a wrap, son. Cat. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Cat Nelson Show. I hope everyone's having a nice Thursday so far. Check out my new dog mom hat. Um, first off, I think my intro, it's like when I record, we go live, and then it's been taking a second to actually uh, record, and I think that's happened the past few episodes, so I've got to fix that, and I also am fixing up my sponsors. I have a new sponsor, Chick Jitsu. This is how their logo looks. They are a um, only female grappling competition from the photographer to the referees to the competitors to the vendors at the event. Everyone is a woman. It's it's a pretty much empowering woman. And um, yeah, so I'll be taking out um, a few sponsors that don't support me anymore and I'll be adding some new sponsors that uh, support me when want to support me. So thanks to my sponsors and to Fight Bananas for giving me the opportunity to, you know, have the Cat Nelson show. Uh, I'm also looking for sponsors if anyone is interested or if you know anyone 
specifically what I'm looking for is supplements, a supplement sponsor, you know, protein, BCAAs, and um, nutrition with uh, meal preps and stuff like that. I think for that one, I might have to wait a little bit, like when I go pro, but that's what that's what I'm looking for. But I'm open to to anyone, anyone who wants to help out with my fight career or the podcast, hit me up. Uh, you can hit up the Cat Nelson Show at gmail.com. You can follow me on social, Instagram and Twitter at Cat No Eleven, and uh, DM me. I I started the Cat Nelson Show spontaneously. Um, through Dave with Fight Bananas. Again, thank you so much, Dave, uh, for giving me this opportunity. And, um, you know, I, I'm getting 10,000 downloads a month. Um, I, I, I've made great connections. I've met a lot of people. And it, I love it because I'm not just growing as a fighter, but I'm also growing in the MMA world as a whole and getting to uh, not the MMA world, but you know, the fight, the fight world, the fight scene. So it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I hope you guys have been enjoying my, my shows and, and liking my, my guests. Um, I still want to bring on some more guys on here, which hopefully you'll see soon. And today I wanted to switch it up and have a Q and a episode because I'm usually talking to a guest and talking about them and I know a lot of you want to get to know me. And even though you get to know me a little bit through my episodes with others, it's mostly talking about them. So today we're going to talk about me. Uh, and like I said, you guys can email the Cat Nelson Show at gmail.com. Put that right there. So first question. I've got a bunch, but I chose, I chose a select few um, that I'm going to answer today. When would you like to turn pro? So for those of you who don't know, I am an amateur. I've had five fights so far. Um, my last fight was in May of 2020 and I won um, by TKO. And I really wanted to, I really wanted to turn pro. I talked with my coach by the end of this year, 2021. I think it's still possible, but it's been difficult for me to get fights since my last fight. And I I mean, it's definitely because of, of how, I, how I performed, for sure. Uh, I've been training for over two years now. So I started, I mean, I started I started this, as a lot of you know already, as just, I mean, I'm, I'm a lifelong martial artist. I've been in Taekwondo since I was younger, but I never thought that I was going to go out and fight one day and, and turn into an MMA fighter, which is what I'm evolving into. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to plan to fight at least three times this year and go pro by the end of the year. Um, I, I've, I see martial arts now as, uh, my, my way of life. And I know that with my skill set and my mindset that I can make it a career for myself. Um, and even though, you know, I, I mean, I can go pro tomorrow, but so can anyone else, but are you ready to go pro? That's the question. Um, I definitely need cage experience. I do watch a lot of a lot of pro woman woman fights and I feel like that I could definitely you know it'd be a good fight if I were to go against a lot of them but the cage experience when it comes down to it you know who is more poised who is more mature who you know who can who has the more fight IQ that 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 all counts and I've had five fights so far three kickboxing two MMA and uh, I definitely need to need to get that cage experience and get experience in general. Like I try to stay active in grappling matches, um, but it's it's really been hard for me to get an MMA fight or even a kickboxing fight. And uh, I was supposed to fight for Combat Night March 13th, which a lot of my um, teammates are fighting on from Fusion XL. I've had my first opponent. 
pulled out. Um, it's it's yeah. She she confirmed the fight and two days later pulled out. And then I got a new opponent a few days later, and then a few days later after she confirmed, she also pulled out. So it's just and we're three weeks out, and I doubt that I doubt that it's gonna happen. Um, and it's unfortunate, but yeah, we'll 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 just see what happens. I'm gonna continue staying active and looking for fights and. You know, I'm a strong believer of everything happens for a reason. And uh, if you follow me on social media, you know that I have a lot going on in my life right now, especially with the puppies, which we've been doing an amazing job with. We've had a litter of 11 and we're down to one puppy. We have one puppy available. So we've been doing good. I'm, I'm ready to get back on a consistent training schedule. Um but yeah, guys, I'd like to turn pro by the end of this year, if possible. Uh, I'd like to get some fights in. If I if I don't, which I don't know if that if that's gonna happen or not, that I just can't get a fight. I'm sure I I'm sure I will. I'm sure someone will come up. But I'm just gonna keep training hard and trying to trying to get into as many competitions and tournaments as possible. So next question, uh, what is your ethnicity? I actually get this a lot because um, no one knows what I am. A lot of people think I'm Latina, Hawaiian, all types of stuff. So my mom is from Thailand. My dad was born in the USA. Just because my mother is from Thailand and I'm half Thai does not mean I'm a Muay Thai expert. That's not where I get my striking from at all. My dad is actually the one that um, was my Taekwondo master here in the States and taught me martial arts. Um, but my mom is Thai and Laotian. She or my grandmother is from Laos. My grandfather is from Thailand. Um, he was, my grandfather was part of the Vietnam War, and, um, you know, I, I'm not going into details about what he did, but they decided, along with my grandmother, my grandfather, my mom, and her siblings, which she has a, she has two sisters and a brother, um, they decided to, you know, flee Asia and come to the States for a better life. And, um, you know, obviously have a family. That's why I'm here. <laughs> and my dad is, he was born in Miami, Florida. But if we want to get into the details, he's European, like Irish, Swedish, German. Um, his dad died when he was eight. And he joined the military when he became of age. Uh, I guess when he went to Korea, he fell in love with Taekwondo and he brought it back to the States and started his own Taekwondo school, which I was a part of. Uh, he taught hot keto to people in the, in the military. He was in the army. So he had a little class, I guess, or a system that he, he taught them. And my mom actually used to, uh, she used to kickbox a lot, and she actually used to, it's called Guilt Nightclub. It used to be called Roxy's Nightclub, I believe, and or just Roxy's. And she, she used to have smokers in there. They used to hold unsanctioned fights. Um, I'm sure that's where I get it from. Well, both my parents. They, they created me, and I'm here. And uh, I definitely have that Asian warrior spirit in my blood. So, yeah, guys, I am. I just tell people I'm Thai American, and yeah. <laughs> All right. So, next question: What is your dream job? Well, I always wanted to be a stripper, 
and they make really good money. I'm just kidding, guys. So I actually, I actually don't want to work for anyone. I, I think I currently don't really work for anyone. Um, the only person I'd really like to work for is Dana White, <laughs> but my dream job is to live on a ranch with animals and grow my own food and yeah, just, just help abandon animals, help other people, um, specifically people that have gone through domestic violence and uh, an abusive past and abusive childhood. I think, I think it's so unfair that like when a child is is faced with abusive relationships and abusive parents it's like they don't they don't they don't know what's going on first off like they're too young and it's just it's just unfair for them because these adults chose to be responsible for something they are being irresponsible for and that's going to affect this child's future. So that's kind of what I do with Root Camp Champs, the youth crime prevention organization where I teach um, kids martial arts. Um, I wanted to be I wanted to be a vet <clears throat> when I was when I was younger, and I actually worked in an animal hospital a few years ago. And my first day on the job. They wanted me to force a a dog, a female dog, to pee. So I had to like like push her stomach in. And then the next day she got spayed. And I was watching the procedure happen. And I just I just didn't it wasn't for me. I was like, I I love animals, but I don't think I love them like this. <laughs> so I left. Um, I ended up working in an animal shelter. And, you know, these are abandoned animals, which I mentioned that I'd like to help when I have my ranch one day. Um, you know, abused animals, like you, you would approach them and they just start crying because cruel people you know, hit them or whatever for no reason because they're miserable and sad themselves and they're taking it out on an innocent animal. Um, so yeah, I, I love animals. I have three dogs of my own. Uh, we, we just had a litter of 11, like I said. I am the founder of Black Lab Organics, my all natural dog treat company. And, um, my goal is to create CBD infused dog treats. So, you know, dogs with arthritis or any other type of problem can benefit from those treats. You know, ease ease their symptoms um, and their illnesses. And then I'd also like to get into an all natural foods, like a like a diet for your dogs, not just treats, like an actual actual food plan eventually. I'm not exactly sh exactly sure if I want to do raw food because I know that a lot of, that's just not feasible for a lot of people. Um, but I, I like raw, the raw meat diet. I know that it works, um, but all natural is, all natural is good too. So my dream job is to work for myself on a big piece of land and have animals and to continue helping others. So I, I'm not sure if that's a job or not, but <laughs> all right, next question. Have you ever gotten too high to function? So I think everyone has a story, you know. Uh, I ate an edible gummy one time that was shaped like a frog and I don't know if it was like injected with like a THC 
oil or something, but I think it was artificial and I just felt sick. It's not that I didn't, I couldn't function, but I didn't want to function. I didn't feel good. I don't like oils or pens. Um, I prefer flour or baked goods like brownies and cookies with, um, you know, cooking oil. If you make olive oil with THC, I, I prefer that or butter. Uh, I smoke every day, <laughs> at least three times a day. It's not like I count. It's just I usually do it before training, after training. Um, it just marijuana, cannabis has helped ease a lot of physical and mental pain for me. And I'm sure it's done it for a lot of other people. And I, I talk about it in all of my episodes. A lot of, or some of my, some of my guests don't smoke. So I always clarify with them beforehand, just so it doesn't get awkward. But they use CBD and they love the benefits. And they're, it's not like they're against cannabis. Uh, they just don't prefer it for themselves, but they've seen it help others and they know it helps. Um, someone asked me if I, if I smoke or if I'm high before my fights or, or during my fights and no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I think like I'll smoke all the way up to the fight, um, like the morning of, and maybe on the way to the venue and then we usually wait for hours until we fight. So like that. And then probably immediately after I fight, I go smoke. Um, I try not to smoke before sparring because, I mean, I'm when I spar, I try to simulate my fights. And if I'm not going to smoke there before my fight, then I'm not going to smoke before I spar. And I also... I'm in a more relaxed state when I smoke. So when I spar, I don't want to be in that relaxed state. I want to be sharp and prepared to fight. Um, I My favorite is to smoke before jujitsu. So it just, I mean, the relaxed state, it, it makes me feel, feel more loose, feel more creative. And I just feel like I flow better. For my mental state, I do have a lot of things on my plate. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people ask me how I do it, and I don't even know. I really don't. I just, I just take things day by day, and I try to go with the flow as best as possible. <laughs> like I, I literally wake up, and I don't have a schedule. I. I jot things down, like things that I need to do, things that I need to get done, but every day is different for me. And that's, that's how I work. And it's been working for me. And, um, so when I do, when I do get cluttered and I feel like my mind's all over the place, when I smoke, I feel like it, it make it brings me back to my center. It makes me more present. And that makes me makes me more aware and it it makes me realize all right let me take a step back let me take things one at a time instead of all these things thrown at me so it makes me see things clear instead of everything at once basically so yeah have i gotten too high to function yes and no i guess <laughs> I don't know. I, I love smoking um, marijuana. Uh, I feel like I can, I mean, I don't know. I don't think there's ever too much of it. I. It's not like I'm constantly smoking and just sitting on the couch and not doing anything. I'm very productive, especially when I smoke. That's why I love smoking before I train. I love smoking before I go do something that I have to, you know, be productive with. But yeah, so that is, are the questions for today. So these are how my Q&A episodes are going to be. I'm, I'm going to 
pick a select few of questions and I'm going to elaborate on them. I'm not just going to answer them with a sentence or two. I want to elaborate and talk a little bit about myself. Um, you can email thecatnelsonshow at gmail.com for my next Q&A episode. Ask me questions. Uh, let me know who you want on the show. Just say hi if you want. Let me know if you have any advice for me. I'm down to take to take anything. Uh, you can always follow me on my IG and Twitter at Catnoy11. I usually post stuff about the show all the time. So whenever I post my next Q and A uh, post in my story, just shoot me a question. I will answer it. Not if it's a dumb question or if you're trying to hit on me, but a good question like these. <laughs> so um, I do have OnlyFans. You can find it on my private page. It's either you can look at Catnoy11 in my bio, but you can also look up at I am underscore the truth 11 and you can find it from there. Uh, again, thank you again to my sponsors. I am going to be switching up my sponsors next week. There have been some people that I am letting go and some people that I am adding on board. Uh, and Dave at Fight Bananas, thank you for giving me this opportunity to start the Cat Nelson show. And I'm here now and I've expanded and I'm on episode 21. So I can't wait to see what the future holds and where I'll be in the MMA kind of media scene. And uh, obviously my fight career comes first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be trying to look for fights, guys. I'm going to try to be as active as possible. And stay tuned for next week's episode and possibly the following week. Before March 13th, Combat Night, I will have some Combat Night OGs on here. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your night, and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.